Hi, this is Vicki with Signot, and I'm going to show you how to reposition the wick in your Ego T atomizer. Within the atomizer is a piercing tube, and it's on a plate, and that sits on a ledge above your coil. Within this piercing tube is a wick. Now this is a little small to show you anything constructive, so I've made a larger one. This is the piercing tube. This is the wick. It is strands of silica rope and they have a metal mesh hat on them. They are not braided or bound in any way, so if that hat falls off, you will find yourself with loose strands that would be very difficult to get back into that hat. So try and keep the hat on. Now the position of the wick is important because if the wick is too low in the tube or your liquid is too thin, you will leak. If the wick is too high or your liquid is too thick, you will get dry hits because the liquid is not flowing through fast enough. The proper position, it's, it appears, um, is right to the bottom of this cut. So that is generally the position that is correct. If you find that it is giving you dry hits, you would want to lower it slightly. If it is leaking, you would want to raise it slightly. The tools you can use to do that are either needle-tipped tweezers, or perhaps a needle that has a hook in the end, which I have. And what you would do is you go to the side to raise it, and you want to grab under that hat, and you just want to lift it up into position. You could use the needle-tipped pliers, these are large format, and go in and again grab as much as possible and lift it into position. If the liquid, and by the way, the wick can be lowered because you put a tank of liquid on and the pressure from actually pressing the uh, tank onto the piercing tube can move your wick slightly. So this could happen over time to you. Um, if you wanted to, if you're getting dry hits and you need to get more liquid through and down to the coil, you can take a needle and drill a small hole, perhaps an eighth of an inch, go a small amount at a time so that you don't get too much and develop a leaker. Or you can push, if you see it, it's a bit high, you can push the wick down just a slight amount. I hope this helps. Thank you.